Good morning everyone. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can make a really basic to-do list that you can just add something to it and delete from it. So let's have a little look at how this app list is going to look. So at the beginning it's going to show the splash screen, wait three seconds and then go to the list. If I zoom down a little bit so you can see. So in this I've just got a really basic header here, um, an add to list icon. This will be our list and then an add to list button. So all you need to do is push, uh, click on to add things to your list x y and z and then the only other functionality we got on there is that if we click on one of these it will remove it from our list so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do this list Okay, so here you can see I've got a absolutely blank canvas now. Now the first thing we're going to do is this loading screen that we saw earlier. So this is where we have the name of the app coming up and then it's going to go to a new screen. So all we need for this one is just a label on here. I'm just going to drag this onto the screen here. Now you're going to put in here whatever you're going to call your list. Uh, I'm just going to call mine list. 1.0 very original i know now um in here you can make it fancier so if i click on this um i can change the font there's a few built in here have a little play um let's go for railway that's um, quite standard you can change size so i can make this bigger uh you can change the color i'm just gonna make this a little red color uh the alignment etc so all those sort of options in there now other things you can do if you wanted to is you could add an image um, so if you created your own icons or um, logos, use that instead. But for this uh, purpose, I'm just going to create this on here. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, uh, and I recommend you do, is get in the habit of naming your items. So much, much easier when it comes to coding. So I'm going to, just going to call this label app name. So LBL is for label and then app name on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to program this to wait um, three seconds and then it's going to navigate to a new screen. So the first thing I need to do is set up this new screen. So I'm going to click on the little plus here and I'm going to call this one, not screen two, I'm going to call this one the um, to-do list or list 1.0. There we go. Okay, so going back to my screen one now. So what I'm going to do now is switch to the block section and I'm going to click on screen one here. And when screen one opens... What I want it to do is I want it to wait for three seconds. I mean, you can change this to be whatever you like. Wait three seconds. And then I want to get it to navigate. And then I want to get it to navigate to. And this will be going to list 1.0. So what this is going to do now is when I load it, it's going to wait three seconds and navigate to the list. Let's have a look at that in action there. So list 1.0, it's going to wait three seconds and it will just go blank. So it's going to go blank. It has gone to this uh, list, this screen here. But obviously because I do not have that set up yet, that is all we have. So that is part one sorted. So the next thing we need to do now is to uh, set up our list on here. So as you can see on mine um, earlier, if I switch to that tab here, so all I have got on here is um, a label here. I've got the list viewer here, a text input here, and an add to list button. So let's do that on this side. So again, I'm just going to use a label to set up the list 1.0. And then I'm going to put that in there. And again, I'm going to call it label. This time I'm going to call it list header because it's the header for it. And again, I've called it, um, I'm going to call it list 1.0. And again, choose the font you want, choose the size you want, and choose the colour you want. I'm going to stick mine the same. Voila. Okay, uh, we'll come back to the list viewer. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add in a button, because I want a button to add to the list. Now, my button's going to span the whole width of here. Um, now, obviously, it's got rounded corners. I want mine to have nice, sharp edges. So to get rid of that, I'm just going to remove this border radius, set to zero. There we go, square edges on there. Now, again, going to label this one. So I'm going to call this one BTN. It's our shortcut for buttons. Button, add to list on there. And then I'm just going to change the text to be add to list. Like so. Okay, so we've got our label. We've got our add to list. Now I need to add in my list viewer. So this is the list viewer icon here in the components. And all I'm going to do is just drag and drop this on here. Doesn't look like much at the moment. I'm just going to create a box. It'll take up all of this space and I'm going to call this list 
Um, to do list. Just so I know who it is. I mean, I've only got one anyway. Uh, and that's all I've got to do here. Now, obviously, you can change the background color. So if I wanted it to have like a slightly off-white color, so it stands out a little bit, you can do that. Put that on there. And that's about it for now. Obviously, you can have a border if you want to. So it looks obviously offset from everything else. But again, you can have a little play with those. The other thing we need to do on here is we need to create a input box. So I'm going to scroll down here and let me go to my text input because obviously we want our user to be able to input something that we'll then add to the list. Okay, so I'm going to push this one here and um, I'm going to call it IMP for input. So input and then add to list. Uh, and again, I'm going to put add to list. Dot, dot, dot. But you can call it whatever you want. And again, you can change the background. So at the moment, it's... Thanks, Luke. So you can change the background. At the moment, this is grey. You can do whatever you like. You can make it orange if you want to. I don't know why you want it orange. So I'm just going to make mine white. Uh, and just like that. And I might give it a little border as well. Where's the border? Um, border width. There we go. So a nice little border around it. Voila. Okay. Um, again, if you want that to be square like the other one, you can. And you can change the colour to match that there we go anyway a few things so next obviously we want to do so let's have a preview of this so you can see here we've got our title we've got our list viewer box we have an add to list button uh, but at the moment it doesn't do anything so let's get programming shall we so i'm going to hop out of um the preview mode now and go into my blocks Now the very first thing we need to do on this is to um, create a list. Now we're going to do this by creating something called a variable. Now a variable um, is, you can think of it as a container that holds some sort of value that can change over time. Now obviously um, our to-do list is going to change over time, assuming people get through their things. So we're going to create a variable uh, using this initialize. So initialize is create. So I'm going to create a variable called to-do list. And I want to create in this list section here an empty list. Now, what you can do, it, oh gosh, what you can do is you can create a list with things in it. Well, it's a little bit buggy here. Uh, in which case, you would use this one and you would put some values in here. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to create an empty list. Now, this doesn't change anything on our um, screen here. It's still going to look the same because obviously we've got an empty list. There's nothing in it. So now what we want to do is we want it to take the user's input here and add that onto our list. Now, so I'm going to go to the button uh, list here to get the options here. So I want to grab this first one, which is when we click on the button. So when I click on the button, what I want it to do is to add whatever the user has typed into this little input thing here. Whatever they typed into here, I want them to add that onto the list. So we're going to make use of a couple of things here. The first thing we want to do is we want to go to the list section. And I want to scroll down till I find this insert at. Okay. So what this is going to do is this is going to insert something into our list. Now the list it needs to insert it to is this one here. Now, as you can remember, we stored it as a variable. So I'm going to go to the variable section. And here is my metaphorical list. So this is my list as it stands at the moment. I'm just going to connect that into here. So I want to insert something into this list. Um, you can choose whether you insert it first, last, random. I'm just going to go for last. Now at the moment, if I ran this, it will just insert ABC. Obviously, we don't want it to do that. Um, so I want it to take whatever the user has typed in there. And to get that information, I need to go to the um, options for the label. So here's my label. So I want to grab the text that's there. So whatever the user's entered in there, uh, I want to take that information. So I'm going to grab this and just going to chuck it in in place of that ABC. So what this is going to do now is um, when the button, when the user clicks the button, it's going to take whatever they've written and add it into the last spot on my list. Now at the moment, if I try and preview this, so if I type in an X, for example, and hit the Enter key, nothing is going to happen because what I've done, although I've added it to it, um, I haven't asked the list viewer, so my little viewer here, um, to actually show me what it looks like. So what I want to do now is get it to update the list itself. So I want to go to the list option and I want to grab this set. So set the text items. There we go. So this is basically what the list is going to show. And I want to set it to this, which is the actual list itself. So I'm going to click on here, grab this again and put it onto here. So let's try this now, shall we? 
go on to web preview I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we can see it all so I'm going to type on X click on add to list and voila there it is X and then I can replace this with Y now at the moment as you can see here it's keeping whatever I type in here uh, on, which is uh, onto here again so for example I have to delete it to get on there now what we want in an ideal world is for this to clear every time we add something to the list and we can do that really easily by going into the input and then I'm going to set um, the text itself to nothing so what this basically does is um, replaces whatever's in there with nothing essentially so it looks like it's reset it so again let's have a look see how this looks I've got X on here and now this time when I push enter it's going to clear it X Y Z wonderful so the next thing we want to do is we want to get it so that when I click on one of these items I can then delete it so I'll show you how to do that uh, next so I'm gonna go back to editing mode again so this time um, what I want to do is go to the list viewer and I want to grab this one here so when I click on something on the list what I want it to do is I'm gonna get one of my listings again but this time instead of inserting I want to remove where's my remove section in list scrolling down remove there we go so on the remove one this time so in list and again I want the same item from my list list uh, is in variable section so I want the same list so again this is my list so this variable contains my list I want to remove now not the first item but I want to remove um, whatever the user's clicked on and the magic of this icon here is that whatever they've clicked on is stored here so all I've got to do is just drag this into this space and it'll know exactly which one of the icons I've clicked in and again to finish off all I need to do again is set it back to um, so basically refresh the list so I'm going to go back into um, the list again I'm going to set the to-do list items to and then again I'm just going to refresh so essentially what this is doing is refreshing the app so again let's have a look see how this works so I'm going to go into preview mode again I'm going to scroll down here Oop. I'm going to click on X Y and Z X Y and Z and then if I click on one of these it's going to remove it there we go okay so that is a really basic um, list on here that's exactly what you want it to adds items and removes items so in the next bit I'm just going to show you how you can add a little bit of um, security on there so you can for example prompt the user um, to check whether they really want to delete it because they might accidentally click on it for example so let's have a look at how we can do that so in order to um, I'll get the user to sort of check before they delete it because at the moment they can just willy-nilly delete things without a single bit of a check on there so if I click on here X Y and Z and they can just click on these and there's no prompt or anything to say uh, do you want to delete it so I'm going to get back onto editing here and what we want to do is we want to set up an alert now alerts are hiding down here at the bottom so if I click on a plus here uh, let's create an alert here we go so I want my alert to be called um, alert delete and I want it to say um, are you sure you want to delete you want to delete and then I'm gonna click on here and change the confirm so yes yes delete and then the cancel button is gonna be no go back oh that's not useful back and you can also change that to be whatever you like so here is my thing so I'm going to call this delete item submit it so what we want to do is we just want to slightly modify this um, item click one again so I'm just going to pull these out temporarily we still need them but what we want to do is we want to do um, a bit of control here to see whether they have clicked the alert so we want to call the alert so the first thing I'm going to do is um, call the alert where's my alert gone down here alert delete so I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is call the alert so basically what it's going to do is call the alert whatever okay what we want to do here is if the user 
uh, confirms this. So it says, yes, please delete it. And it will just carry on doing this as we had previously programmed. But if they don't, then we want them just to go back to the app, okay? So I'm going to go up to this control section now. And I'm going to grab this one here, which is um, an if else, okay? So I'm going to put this in the middle here. So what we're going to do now is we'll say, if it was confirmed, so I'm going to grab that in there, then go ahead and delete it as we planned. Otherwise, which is the else here, I'm just going to get it to navigate back to the list. So navigate to the list. It's just basically going to go back to the list. So let's see what happens now when we run this. So I'm going to add some items to my list again. Let's scroll down. So I've got X, Y, and Z. There we go. And now if I click on Y, it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete? If I say no, it's just going to go back to the screen. If I say yes, it's going to remove the icon. So that is how you create a really simple to-do list. And I will share this code with you as well so you can modify this one if you want to. Hope this helps. Thank you. See you on another one soon.